Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, it's a uh, new content day, so we got some new stuff out and I've had a chance to sit and work um, on a clear for the Wicked Weapon, uh, which I worked out you know, more or less on stream, but I wanted to go ahead and put a video up on YouTube as well. Um, I know it's maybe not gonna be the fastest clear and it's not gonna be the cheapest clear, but I had fun doing it and I'm enjoying getting to use uh, some, some units like Roberta and Chow um, and Bulwark um, who I don't really get to use all that much uh, for one reason or another, but I really enjoy him and I'm really glad that I have him. And so we're going to use him um, in this clear today um, and we're going to work on some cheaper ones later, but this one I just wanted to have some fun with. Um, so here's the team. We've got Roberta, who's obviously good at uh, the dragon killer stuff. Um, she's going to be here helping us out with some mirage stacks for turn one, as well as some buffs and some dragon killer buffs. Um, and some LB fill. Um, her gear is really just built for damage against dragons and demons. Uh, this boss is a dragon and a demon, and so we're, we're doing that, right? She's got um, 250 dragon, or 150 demon and uh, 300 dragon, so she's in pretty good shape, and she actually does a fair amount of damage with her um, Mystic Breath Chain, which is what we're using for helping us chain. So she's pretty cool. We, we're, I'm excited to have her, um, you know, we're gonna use her. Uh, we've also got Chow, who in the base form is gonna be doing some defensive type stuff, like protecting us against the magic damage on turn three. Um, and then also just uh, bursting with his limit burst in uh, on, on turns two and four um, to help kill this boss quickly. Um, so he's really just built for damage against uh, demons and dragons, just like normal with LB damage being his priority. Um, and yeah, he's pretty rad. We like Chow. Ibarra is uh, empty on the base form and then the shift form is using a pair of staffs because of the staff in peril from Chow, um, high magic staffs, and then just LB damage against, you guessed it, demons and dragons, but not very much, you know, there's not a ton of uh, stuff that's good for demons and magic, uh, demons and dragons for magic, uh, magic damage dealers, so, you know, we're going to rely heavily on the buffs from Bulwark and Roberta. Uh, which is a it's just a thing uh, for a bulwark i really just hit spirit optimize um and this is what i got the, the gear on bulwark's really not that important for this clear um he's not doing all that much uh, otherwise so yep here we are and there's the team uh so we're gonna go ahead and go into it and show how i did it do, do, do. here we are so turn one the boss is gonna do aoe physical attacks that you can dodge um, or you can cover. Um, we're going to choose to just dodge it with Roberta. So Roberta um, is going to be doing that. But first, before we do anything else, Chow is going to use his Limit Burst to get, buff him, buff everybody up with some stuff. Um, and then Roberta is going to refill it. There we go. Actually, we are almost full there. So Roberta's gonna do Dragon Killer, um, support from the skies to give us the Mirage stacks, and then Draconic Triune, um, just to fill LB gauge for everybody, which I guess we don't really need. You know what we're gonna do instead, because we're, we're looking pretty good. We've got almost full on everybody. We're going to just do um, Dragon and support um, and Mega Breath instead. Okay. And Ibarra is going to shift and just do some like imperil and magic boosting and stuff like that. Nothing, nothing too critical. She's just, she's just here for right now on turn one. Um, but Bulwark is going to be doing a shadow, a shadow serenade, and a Bergamot's ballad. And everybody should fill up here. There we are. We're full on all the limit burst gauges. We're dodging all the physical attacks. We're in good shape. Awesome. The only thing we're missing right in this moment is Staff Imperil, which we're about to get, and Spirit Breaks. We're gonna go ahead and have Bulwark do that with Bulwark's theme and Electric Ensemble to help top everybody off after the next turn for MP. And since we had uh, the opportunity to use um, Mega Breath, we can do Quad Mystic Breath instead of Triple, which is going to do even more damage than we did on stream. So this is going to be great. Um, so Roberta's going to be doing Chaining. 
Um, and then Chow and Ibarra are going to be cappings. But because Chow takes a while, we're going we're gonna to send him first. So here we go. And then them. And you. So there we are. Um, there's a couple things you could choose to do at this point. If you think Chow is strong enough to go ahead and take him out on turn three, you could use uh, Roberta and Ignitos uh, to refill with Dryonic, Draconic Triune. Um, and then Ibarra and, um, Ibarra and Bulwark can do Bolting Strike Chains to just go ahead and like chain on the boss and take it out. Um, I'm not going to do that because I want to show what happens on turn three if you don't think you can do that last bit of damage or if you didn't do enough damage here and you want to survive turn three. Um, you can go ahead and have Chow downshift. And Chow can do guard dog to get cover going, focus inspiration for some mitigations, and then just heal the party. Bulwark is also going to shift down and use um, Jaunty Jubilee for bigger um, magic mitigation, right? We do 85% for two turns, pretty good. As well as refresh the brakes, and then just do an LB fill rate. Um, we could go ahead and have Roberta do some stuff. Um, on my last runs, I had her go ahead and do Mega Breath here, but we're not going to, I'm just gonna have her do Mystic Breath. Uh, yeah, we don't, mm. or we could do Dragon's Fury. Let's do Dragon's Fury. That'll give us Spear and Peril, help her, help her do more damage next turn. And then Ibarra can just, she can just guard. Chow is going to be um, doing some Loyal Protector stuff to counter and fill LB. Okay, so we got our LBs in place. If you didn't get them for some reason, you could do the opposite that I just said. You could have Roberta do Draconic Triune now and fill the LB gauges and then let them chain and have Chow cap. But we got our LB, so we're going to go ahead and do Mystic Breath four times. We're going to shift back up and cap with him. And we're going to cap with her. And Bulwark's just going to sit there looking pretty. So, Chow, Roberta, Ibarra. And there we are. Four turns, all the missions are completed. Party of four or less, four turns, no KOs. We completed it, we're good to go. We got all the missions done in one run. It's fun to use Chow for damage. I like doing that. Haven't gotten to do that since, uh, since the event that Chow was running on. So there's the clear. So uh, hopefully that helps somebody. Uh, maybe if you haven't figured this out yet or haven't, haven't gotten this done and you're looking for a clear that uses those units, there it is. Um, since we don't have a whole lot going on this week otherwise, I'm going to try and work on some other clears as well using different units. I was working on Sephiroth, uh, a Sephiroth clear on stream, and um, I got really close. I got to about 3% on turn 4, um, but then I realized after the fact that I forgot to have Chow's Vision card equipped, so <laughs> that made a difference. Um, so I'm going to go back and keep working on it. Maybe you'll see that clear here in the next couple of days as I get some more time to sit down and work on it. Um, but for now, there it is, and I hope it helps, um, and I hope that this is uh, useful to somebody and you enjoy watching it and that you subscribe and follow and do all the things that we do so that you can know when these videos go live. But in the meantime, have a good night, take care, be good to each other, get that mystery crystal.